Hi there, Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your yearly tarot forecast reading, wherein I pick one card per month for you guys, so you guys can have an, a general overview on what you can expect throughout the entire year of 2020. So um, it's not going to be detailed, but this is just a general overview of the energies in place, so you can... Um, you can know how to navigate the energy. You can expect or anticipate or um, do something once you go over that month or that year. So you can prevent um, difficulties or grab the opportunities that comes into your life. So without any further ado, let us begin. Now, as you guys can see, there are challenges for those that are in the sign of Taurus for the year of 2020. I mean, this is not going to be for the rest of Taurus rising, but I would say that the people that I'm connecting with can have some fair share of their own challenges. We do have the Devil card for January, the Three of Cups for February, right? Yeah, it's a Three of Cups. And the Page of Cups for March. April, you have the Nine of Swords on... Where was I? On May, we do have the Ten of Swords. And then for June, we have the Two of Pentacles. On July, we have the Eight of Cups. And for August, we have the King of Cups. And on September, we do have this King of Wands. And then on October, we have the Ace of Wands. And November, we have the Death card. And then December, we have the Three of Swords. So I'm pretty sure that some of you guys are already scared with hearing a lot of Swords and Death card and Three of Swords in place, even with the Eight of Cups. But um, this is just a general thing. And it's in the place... I would advise you guys to stay with me until the end of the video because it is not what you think it actually is. So, um, yeah, it's not as if I'm going to scare you or anything like that. But I would, I would say that this has a form of going to be bringing you a lot of change as you go over 2020. There's going to be a lot of change, a lot of realization, and a lot of things that you need to implement in your life. So for January, we do have this double card. Honestly, I really like this double card because uh, maybe of that, you know, intense passion. It has this big rose on top. So this can be a point of maybe you'll find someone that you are going to be very much attracted with. There could be intense sex or some form of very passionate energy running around that. This can also be a timer of temptation for you. Maybe you are tempted to do something or to do something forbidden, like a taboo-like. And this is something that you need to be aware of. Be careful of the decisions that you make as you start. 2020 because 2020 is a year of honesty not really a year of trying to to fool around those kinds of things and if you if you take opportunities that are not really good for you not morally um justified it might carry over to the entire year and that might be the reason why you are having all of these difficult energies. So there is something important on January 2020 and if you are a Taurus rising in specifically, I would say that this is the energy of importance to you. So something is going to be happening on January that can um, have a domino effect throughout the entire year. So you need to be careful of that. This can also um, be a signal of you might meet someone you have a soul connection with. And it has it can have some form of challenges, but um, yeah. The double card also is a, is a card wherein something 
is meant to happen in your life. So there could be a some form of beginning that can leave a mark onto the entire year. So I'm. It can be good. It can be bad. I don't. I really don't know. But it, you are going to start off the year very passionately. Now, as we enter February, this is the Three of Cups, and you might enjoy your Valentine's month. And this is all about you know enjoying life, getting together with friends, getting together with loved ones as well. This could be a family outing, friends outing, or a lover. Scenario: Maybe you are going to be having a lot of fun in your dating life, a friendship, and all of that. It is a fun month for you, or in everything is just enjoyable. So you're starting the year very passionately, and you are enjoying every bit of it. Be careful though of trying to dabble in with two lovers as well. You are enjoying a lot of lustful energy. With with this energy in place, now on March you do have the Page of Cups. So this is about you know a very innocent card wherein you're not really thinking about too much of the decisions that you make, the things that you say. You don't think about them too much. So there is an innocence to that. It's like you're getting. Along with the flow of life and just you know, being comfortable in your own skin, and um yeah, this can also make you、uh, very vulnerable to other people, because you are so innocent, you are so kind. That is probably the reason why you are having this Nine of Swords on April, because of this、um, innocent in you. Might maybe some people see you as a target for their mischief, so you need to get your act together on March if you want to prevent that. Try to be a little bit suspicious. I'm not telling you guys to not trust people, but try to protect yourself. I would say. So、um, on April we do have this Nine of Swords, and as you guys can see. This girl. I'm not sure if you guys can see this image. So I'll just show you guys a bit, since my lighting is.、Um... Anyways, this is the Nine of Swords, and as you guys can see, this is like a woman running away from something, in panic. So this can be a time where and you're running away from your troubles, or there is a form of problem that you are. You suddenly have to deal with. I would say that this is an energy of that can cause you some form of grief. This month of April, a month of grief, a month of you know, it could be a month of depression for you. You're thinking so many things in in that time. It's not best for you to make any decisions because you are just going to see things. On a negative level, but I would say that this is a starting point in your life, wherein maybe it's time for you to get serious. All those fun and games are a thing of the past for you. Now, as you enter the、um, May, you do have this Ten of Swords. So, this is the Ten of Swords, and. Th- there could be an energy we're in, another form of depression. So, you might be not at your best state during April and May. Something is、um, making you feel down. Maybe something has ended in your life, or maybe someone literally died. I hope not. Please don't shoot the messenger. This that's really not my, what I intend to mean. But、uh, I'm just giving you various.、Um, Various meaning to this combination. So, and it doesn't have to be a person. It could be circumstances. It could be a friendship. It could be your belief system as well. And this can actually make you a lot stronger because it will force you to change something in your life. 
it can force you to change. There is something that is going to be changing in, in you, some form of transformation as well as going to be happening. Maybe your belief system is going to change or this can occur wherein you are going to learn from some form of mistake or, you know, maybe you are a person that is always forgiving and something happens in your life and you learn from that hard truth and hard mistake that, okay, it's time for me to wake up. I don't want to fantasize in thinking that everyone is really kind and nice. Not everyone is like that. Not everyone is like you, Taurus. So you, this can be, you know, a personal transformation that can empower you all at the same time. So we also have this Two of Pentacles for June. So you are back in your game, trying to work things out, trying to create balance in your life once again. So you are, you know, um, learning from mistakes and trying to venture into new heights, bringing balance into your into your life. There is some form of abundance. There's, there could be, you know, money coming in that you need to manage and all of that as well. Now, as you enter July, you do have this Eight of Cups. So... This is a scenario we're in. You need to say goodbye to someone in your life. Or maybe um, things of the past, past scenarios are creeping in your life. And you're just not able to forget them. And this can be a scenario we're in. Either you, ha you make a decision to leave someone that is not good for you. That is toxic. Because we do have this devil card on top. And if you guys don't know, I have placed it in this kind of um, spread so that I can be able to see the energies in place as well. So even though this is for January, um, I've, I make it the point wherein, you know, it forms an energy line between the cards. So this can be someone that is not good for you. Or maybe for some reason, you need to say goodbye to some habits that you have in your life. That maybe you thought was fun, all fun and games, but now you you have to take everything seriously. So um yeah, there is a specific person that she is looking upon. And maybe this is about you wanting to be with someone who is not looking not looking on your path they have their back turned away from you so um that could be an energy line for july so it can be that th that person is in your life or not in your life but you are reminiscing or thinking about that person now for where was i for august we do have this King of Cups. So this could be someone entering your life. It could be a healer. It could be someone that will help you. Someone that you can um, have a future with. This is a person that can offer you some form of emotional support that can enter your life. This can also be you having, you know, wanting to be with a man that can fulfill your emotional needs or something like that. And then as we go over to September, we have the King of Wands. So this is an energy wherein, um, yeah, this could also be meeting someone that can, you know, fulfill your emotional life, that can... That can actually work for you, you know. It's not a, a very passionate energy, but it is a practical one that can last for a lifetime. So for Taurus, this can be about meeting a man. Or this can be a situation wherein you will receive help from these guys over here. Or this can be a situation wherein you are going to 
do a lot of planning, a lot of business orientations that you want to manifest and implement as well. You need to be careful though that th this person can... This energy between the August and September, they can be quite passionate and impulsive. So you need to make sure that you are thinking of things clearly and not going in with your gut alone. Because it's not the king of swords, you know, it, they lack that wisdom. But they have a lot of ideas and a lot of feeling good um, energy in place. So as we enter October, you do have this Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning that can actually take place in your life. Maybe you are starting a new relationship, a new, a new life, literally. A new energy is going to be entering your field that can give you a starting line, a vibration wherein you can start all over again from scratch and it can actually make you feel a lot good at the same time. On November, we do have this death card. So it, it has a scythe on it. It is a lady that holds a scythe. So this is a point of of change, of transformation, you are at the point of you start something in your life. There is a new beginning, a new phase in your life. And this time around, you are going to protect yourself. You are going to be the one that cuts people off. That is a possibility. You are not going to wait for other people to cut you away. You are the one who makes the judgment of whether you, you should be cutting someone off or not. You have your own power. You have the control um, on your hand, basically. So, and that is really good. Just be mindful you're not being too harsh with people as well. So, um, we have here the Three of Swords. I'm not sure if you're guys seeing the camera anyways. So you have the Three of Swords over here. So the Three of Swords is always known as a bigger disappointment in life. But um, that is not really what the Three of Swords means. It really means that change has to happen. You have the swords in your hand. There is this decision that you have to do. And maybe something that you need to compromise with all at the same time. So I'm getting here that, you know, practicality is going to be very important for you. I know that Taurus are is a practical sign, but, you know, there is still that lingering energy in you that wants to, to feel things on an emotional level, on a passionate level. But this is a, an area or the year wherein it tells you that you need to it's not as if you're not allowed to feel things, but balance is probably going to be very important to you. That is why you do have this three of swords at the end of the year. This is about um, maybe you are not feeling so good or there could be a sense wherein you feel that you're being tested. Something fated could be happening for you for the year of 2020. And... It can be a year of new beginnings for a lot of Taurus rising. And it's not a normal new beginnings. It is a new beginning that can really change you in a very big way. So, and, you know, you will enter a point wherein people will respect you and ask you for advice. Just be mindful that the things that you are saying, you're not saying them very harshly to people. Because if you're being mean, because you might be thinking that I should be harsh on people because of what they did to me. But if you are going to be doing the same thing, you, will, you might find yourself protected, but there's a sense of being alone. 
So you need to be mindful of that energy also. Now the last card of the deck that I wanted to show you guys, you do have this Emperor card. So this will act as an advice for you guys. So the number four is all about stability, stable emotions, stable actions, and practicality as well. So whatever you implement at this time needs some form of practical notion to it. You need to learn all the facts before you take any action, before you implement anything. And also, have some form of passion in you. Don't, don't just see things, everything on your mind. I would say, this can also be a situation wherein maybe all of this happening is involving love. It's involving someone in particular in your life. Someone that you love, someone that you respect. And that could be the theme of your entire year. This can also be a situation wherein there is a, um, a manifestation of a long-standing issue that is not happening but this time it is about to happen but it is happening in a way wherein maybe you you don't want you don't you don't want the scenarios because we do have a lot of uh, difficult energies here so you might be experiencing things that you don't want to experience but it's actually good for you at the end you will see that it has its own perks. There is a reason why things are happening the way that they are. And that is really the key for you. And by having this experience, you are going to be blooming to the most authentic person that you are. And that will benefit you. And the people that will come into your life will learn to respect you, learn to love you for who you are without any difficulties and without any um, of this negativity. So again, this is about learning how to protect yourself, learning how to handle relationships and other people, and learning that, you know, um, you don't need to always get back at them. So balance is definitely going to be the key importance for those that are in Taurus rising. So, um, yeah, um, I hope that you find this reading insightful, not the most upbeat and all about enjoyment kind of year for Taurus, but there are definitely going to be some important lessons that can help you venture your way through 2020. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you'd like a more personal reading and you are concerned with what is going on with you or if this is going to be happening at all for you, then you can go and contact me on my website in the stars by .com. So, um, yeah, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and like the video if you or share them if you like. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks.